Robert Forster was born Robert Wallace Foster Jr. in Rochester, New York, to Grace Dorothy Montanarella and Robert Wallace Foster Sr., who worked as an elephant trainer and baking supply company executive. He is of English, Irish, and Italian descent. Forster first became interested in acting while attending Rochester's Madison High School, where he performed as a song and dance man in musical reviews. After graduating in 1959, Forster attended Heidelberg College, Alfred University and the University of Rochester on football scholarships and continued to perform in student theatrical reviews. After earning a BA in psychology from Rochester in 1963, Forster took an apprenticeship at an East Rochester theater where he performed in such plays as, West Side Story. He moved to New York City in 1965, where his first big break came when he landed the lead in the two-character play, Mrs. Daly Has a Lover, opposite Arlene Francis. However, after the play ran its coursework was hard to find in the theater. Forster returned to Rochester, where he worked as a substitute teacher and construction worker until an agent from 20th Century Fox offered him a five-picture deal. His movie debut was a small part in the drama Reflections in a Golden Eye, 1967, which starred Elizabeth Taylor and Marlon Brando. Forster went on to appear in small and minor roles alongside some top Hollywood actors in films like The Stocking Moon, 1968, and Medium Cool, 1969, and a large part in Justine, 1969. Although he continued to act in feature films, he took the part of a hard-boiled detective in the short-lived TV series Banyan, 1971, Forster also appeared in notable parts in The Black Hole, 1979, Avalanche, 1978, and as the lead in the cult horror flick Alligator, 1980, and played the part of a factory worker turned vigilante in the thriller Vigilante, 1982. Forster also took the lead as a taxi driver in Walking the Edge, 1985, by director Norbert Meisel. A series of action flicks followed, the most notable being The Delta Force, 1986, starring Chuck Norris. By the late 1980s Forster's acting career had begun to slide, and he was getting less and less work, if there was any, he would be cast in small parts playing villains. Forster then began to work as a motivational speaker and an acting coach in Hollywood film schools. However, in the mid-90s, Forster's career was resurrected by writer-director Quentin Tarantino, a big fan of Forster's early work, who offered him an audition for a part in his latest movie. After a seven-hour audition, Tarantino cast Forster in the role of the tough but sympathetic bail bondsman Max Cherry in Jackie Brown, 1997, which netted him an Academy Award nomination and some nationwide recognition. His success landed him more high-profile starring